With the rise of Islamophobia, people are asking some very brazen questions like what would happen if Muslims disappeared? Here at Smile to Jannah we thought we'd explore that and here's what we came up with. Number 1. The oil rich Middle East would be up for grabs. That means the West and its allies versus Russia with its allies would end up battling to see who gets what. The superpowers would plunge the globe into a world war, killing those who are left. Number 2. Islamophobia is big business. So there being no Muslims, the newspapers would lose out on their greatest asset. Provocative stories sell, so they would have to turn on their own population which would cause further discord. Number 3. Islam is a common enemy for the West. Indeed, before it may have been the Catholics, the Blacks and even the Communists. So there would of course be a search for another enemy that has natural resources. Number 4. Major companies have Muslims as major shareholders. So if this happened overnight, companies would go bust and the global financial system would crash. Number 5. Seen as the two biggest missionary religions are Christianity and Islam, Christianity would then spread unchallenged to the globe. And seen as there are so many sects and versions of the Bible, there would be wars breaking out for dominance of certain nations by these various sects. Number 6. Seen as some African nations are Muslim, there would be wars happening in Africa to take over the available lands. The West would jump in as saviors and arbitrators and we know what happens next. They would tacitly assume control in the name of diplomacy and peace. Number 7. One in four people on the planet are Muslims. So if 25% of people disappeared, every facet of life would struggle. There would be lack of doctors, teachers, service men and women, professionals. I mean this imbalance would ruin the economy. So what do we learn from this? Well, we learn, let's just hope nothing happens to the Muslims so we can all live in peace.